Hi, I'm Cameron with Kingston HyperX. Setting up a RAID or redundant array of independent disks is a great way to increase SSD performance and protect against data loss by making drives and data redundant in case of drive failure. It's basically insurance for your system's data. The most common RAID levels in use today are RAID 0, 1, 10, and 5. Each provides different benefits to the user. RAID 0 is striping without any redundancy. That means that if a single drive in the RAID group fails, there is a high chance for data loss, but performance is excellent under RAID 0. RAID 1 is mirroring, so what gets written to one drive gets written to a second drive. In the event of a drive failure, you have a backup copy of your data, and the operating system never knows a drive has failed. RAID 10 is a combination of RAID 0 and 1. RAID 10 offers fast write performance and redundancy. However, you sacrifice half the capacity of the drives you have built into your RAID 10 array. This can be more expensive to implement for larger data sets. RAID 5 is striping with distributed parity. The advantages of RAID 5 is it's cost effective to implement because you only lose the capacity of a single drive regardless of the number of drives in the RAID group. And you have redundancy in the event of a drive failure. So it just depends on how critical your data is and on your budget to determine which RAID level suits your particular needs. RAID is available on most desktop boards and configured through BIOS. Or a third-party RAID controller card can be added to the system at minimal cost. Whatever level you're at, HyperX has the products and services you need to boost performance.